Hey guys, welcome to this micro lecture on the, uh, the base of skull. Now the base of skull is a collection of bones that hold the brain in place. And it's a really important topic to be discussing because when you guys arrive at scene at trauma, whether it's minor or major, you do need to consider whether or not there's uh, an, an injury to the base of skull. Now, there are some great images online that will show you the different types of base of skull fracture, the consequences of a base of skull fracture, the signs and symptoms, as well as um, the, the structure of the base of skull. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the base of skull in terms of its structure and its makeup and its location in relation to the brain. So this, image, this is the first image I want to show you guys. Um, now here you can see the brain when it's taken out of its cranial vault. And notice how you've got a series of, of bones. Now it's generally speaking made up of a, of a set of different bones. Now let's go to another image that I found. It's a really good image that shows you um, a, a really detailed picture. Now you can take your time and just take a look at this image. Now you notice you've got the frontal bone at the front. Uh, you've got the occipital bone, the parietal bone. These are, these are bones that you will have already learned through your studies. To make the base of skull dead easy, what you need to consider is that there are, for the base of skull, there's an anterior fossa, anterior meaning at the front. The opposite is the posterior fossa, meaning at the back. You've got the middle fossa and the central skull base. So there's only really four parts to the actual um, base of skull. Now, of course, when you look at the individual bones and the individual structures, yes, it becomes pretty complex. Um, so you've got the olfactory foramina. Now that's to do with the, the, the sense of smell. So the, 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 the cranial nerves, um, number one, which is the olfactory nerve, will actually be protruding through there. You've got the optic canal, so again, cranial nerve. And, and you've got all these different spaces and structures within the base of skull, but number one, it's the base of skull keeps the, the brain inside the cranial vault. Number two, um, it's made up of four main types of bone. And that's this one here, anterior fossa, central skull base, middle fossa, posterior fossa. It even gives you a percentage on this image here. If you wanted to look a little bit more detail, you can see how there are openings which allow the cranial nerves and other structures to exit through them. Now, when we look at this, um, when we look at the, a, a base of skull fracture, there are certain signs and symptoms. So in other words, imagine that there's been a major insult to the brain, whether it's a, a, a hit on the back of the head with a baseball bat, or you've been hit at high speed from a, from a car, by a car, or you've fallen from a height. Certain signs and symptoms exist, and one of them being, notice how you've got this cerebrospinal fluid that cushions the brain. Sometimes you'll find that cerebrospinal fluid leaks from the ears or from the nose. And that's one of the biggest signs of symptoms. Other late signs of symptoms include what we call raccoon's eyes or bruising or ecchymosis, bruising behind the ears. So that's really a, a short lecture on the base of skull. I hope you've enjoyed this micro lecture, guys. And I look forward to speaking to you again shortly. You guys take care.